The only reason for a church and the only reason for a pastor is for those who are growing in faith to be equipped with the tools needed to do God's will in this world. That pastor should have first proven he can take care of his own household because God would never choose anyone to be a pastor of a church who cannot do that first. Men like to appoint themselves as pastors and religious experts, this, that, and the other, but the Holy Spirit truly ordains a man to be a prophet of the Most High God, which means they carry the testimony of Jesus Christ. That takes a lot of work to do that. You do the math. If you have found someone infused with the Holy Spirit who has been elected by Christ himself to be a minister of the new covenant, you will be equipped with the tools necessary to do God's will. You will not be given religious fluff. You will not be told you're saved because you said some sinner's prayer and rinsed yourself in the river. No, you will be given the tools needed to do God's will. You will be shown in the word of God where to go to see where you are commanded that to do God's will is to sanctify yourself, that you are to be washed by the blood of the Lamb, that your heart must be cleansed of all impurities. The Word of God is clear. You can have no idols before God. You must place Him first. To sanctify your heart is to cast out everything that gets in your way of putting God first. In today's day and age, those are your emotions. Rage, jealousy, bitterness, acting out, on animalistic behaviors, perversions, unkindness towards spouses, 60% divorce rate, aggravating children, lack of compassion, hostility, lack of humbleness, and that's a total disrespect to the Word of God because you are not allowed to do that on the road to deliverance. That is the work a believer must do every day to sit beside the true pastor, Jesus Christ, because he should be first in your life. Not any religious expert down here, that's for sure. It's a daily chore of casting out the idols. That is your ego, that is your opinions and convictions that go against the Word of God. You cannot have those false emotions. You cannot be out of control and call yourself a Christian. Well, you can, but many are called, few are chosen to be born again and baptized by the Holy Spirit. The only way you will get that gift is if you do the work. That work is what you should be equipped with when you go to these men of God. If you go to someone chosen by the Holy Spirit to carry the testimony, they will give you these tools. They will show you in the Word of God the scriptures to go to. They will make it crystal clear to you, you must have self-control of yourself. If you're not in control of yourself, do you think the Holy Spirit is? No, that is the spirit of this world, the religious spirit of the enemy who wants to tell you you're saved, but when you leave that house of God, you feel miserable, depressed, anxious. There is no peace in your home. You're fighting with everyone around you. If you have no peace in your heart, you have no salvation. Your pastor should be pointing the way to Jesus Christ and how to find that peace, a peace that surpasses all human understanding. That's the role of a church of the Most High God.